Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome to the Thursday Night Live show, the Crafty Sidekick Shenanigans. She's on the other side. Great to have you with us tonight. If you're new here, we are Meme Made It. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to click that box and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll get notified every time Meme posts a video. On Thursday nights, we do two shows. The first one is a crafty show, and the second one is a crafter after show where we get to talk about wherever we want to talk about. And you don't want to miss tonight because there's a lot of cool things we want to show you. Everything that you see used in our videos can be purchased in our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. All through the video tonight, our um, helper, Tamitha, will be posting links as fast as we can get them done. So if you see something you like and you want to purchase it, just click on the link and it'll take you right to our store and you can buy it there. There's one more thing I need to tell you. There's a thing we do around here called vinnying the video. It's simple. Just give us a thumbs up. Let us know you're enjoying what you see. And if you forget, I will remind you throughout the show that we appreciate thumbs up. May May. Hey, you guys. Hey, Lorna, I'm just going to say thanks for choosing me because I know where you could be watching right now because I also got the notification they were live too. Just saying, too funny. Okay. Hey, Thank before you, you guys get for started, being here. Yep. We got a super chat already. Already. From Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. So we want to say thank you. Crowd noise. We used to do that because you couldn't see us, but now you can see us and now we do the hands too. So we there we go. Now we're like the Brady Bunch. You didn't say we're making something cool tonight. Oh, we're making something really cool tonight. I can't wait for you to see it. Mama, what are you making? Super what are we making, cool. babe? I don't know. I hadn't seen it. We're making your dad's 89th birthday card. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good deal. You said you would like I to make I did that ask one. you to do that, but you kind of. He know. said, Would you like to make my dad's birthday card on the show tonight? And I went, mm, I had something else in mind I was going to do. And I was like, No, I want to make your dad's birthday card. But we were going to, we have birthday cards, but I'm saying, let's make one for him. And here's why his dad will think this is cool. He'll think this is neat, right? So anytime you have somebody that'll be like, That's cool, you want to do that for, yeah. right? Okay. So should I show this? Or I'll show you. Okay. So Shannon in Scrap Acropolis made a, made five five scrappy cards six scrappy cards five scrappy cards and this was one she did and i think granddad granddad will like this see that i think you'll think that's cool that is cool he'll like the whole engineering are you gonna situation. be able to put 89 on there um we can i can play with that i have a stamp set to do that but i'll show you what we're gonna no, do i meant 89 candles They're no not. that's what i said on the thumbnail tonight i said i don't think i can get 89 candles on this card wouldn't that be funny yeah i, mean, I could though if i layered like layer 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 oh, we yeah. could no we'll try that but um, we did not cut out 89 little bitty strips we did not we did not. So We'd we're going to make this card. So. If you were in Shannon's class, you already have all the instructions. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to do it. And I think Shannon has already shared the info with Tamitha to put out for you guys. So you'll be able to yeah. get that too. But if you're in our class, you would have seen this happen. You would have made it. And it was super fun. But still watch because this paper is so cool. Yeah, don't go anywhere. I, let me tell you why to watch. Because I got a trick for you. Y'all going to like I'm loving this thing. You'll like it too. All right. So let's talk about scoring. This piece of cardstock is 11 inches long by four and a quarter wide. And we're going to score it in two places. We're going to score it two and three quarters. And we're going to score it at five and a half. Now, my trusty assistant had already scored that for me. So that's why I didn't do too much work. But this is what we're looking for. We're going to make a Z. Okay. So we're making that card like that. Then what we're going to do. This is one of those cards that looks harder to make than it is. And honestly, it's it's harder to pick the paper than to put the card together. Super you easy. Are so correct. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece here and also a piece here. Now, you don't have to match them, but it's really cool because you want the candles to kind of pop. That's one thing you do want to think about. Whatever candles you're putting on. Do you see how Shannon did this on a solid? We have other ones, too, but she did this on the solid background doesn't have to be solid. Whatever you put back here, you just want to make sure your candles can really pop. So I just kind of went with this solid green. And by the way, this is the perfect paper pack for this. This pack is Birthday Bash by Becky Moore for Photo Play. This is beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? And it's perfect for a man card. And Very we're cool. going to play with the ephemera too. That's what we're going to do on the card to make it look I cute. I like it. All right. So let me glue these down really quick. The question tonight, the pre-show question, was who is the oldest person you've made a card for? And this is it for me. Granddad consistently gets that award every year. 
Yep. Every year he keeps getting it. Um, matter of fact, we found out, I think you shared one time, we found out recently that he is the oldest in his bloodline. Yes. Right now he is. He actually surpassed everybody at this point mm -hmm. in his lineage, I would suppose we could say it like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've seen 105, 103. Do you see all the answers? Mm -hmm. A lot of people making cards for for folks, especially over a hundred. That's pretty cool. Hopefully when, hopefully we'll get to make a card for granddad when he's a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. All right. This strip is what's going to create the Z. It goes right here and it creates the Z. This guy is scored in two places. Now he is 11 inches long. Okay. And he is one inch wide. Now we're going to score him at five and a half. Oh, is that how you did it? No, well, it's easier to go this I, way. Yeah, then. actually. You actually score it the same as exactly the other. The same. So we're going to score them at two and three quarters and then at five and a half. So you score them the same um, and then you fold him, but you'll flip him around opposite to make him work. So I've already got him scored and ready to go. Mm -hmm. And here's a trick Shana did in her class. I thought this was cool. So sometimes you struggle gluing. When I glue these, this is what I do in case you want to do it that way. When I glue them, I glue this one first. OK, and then I open it up and lay it flat and do that one. That's how I do it. But I want to show you what Shannon did because you guys might like that. OK, because when you lay it flat and glue it, look, it still works. Right. But check this out. But you, you don't glue the middle. No, you don't glue the middle. Let me show you. Let me show you again what you do. What you do. glue. You glue this piece here. OK, then you glue this piece here. And he closes like that. But what Shannon did, and I thought it was really cool because you don't have to question anything, is this. Go ahead and fold this piece down and kind of hold it here in the center. Put your glue here. Like so. And then also here. And if you do this, you won't have to worry about what you're supposed to glue and what you're not supposed to glue because it will only work right. OK, so then you're going to turn this over and you want the folded end of your Z on, on the right hand side and the folded end of your card on the left hand side. And you're going to lay this down. And just lay that down. Now, I went lower, I think, than Shannon did on her card. Not by much. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, kind of. And you can make the Z whatever width, really, you kind of want. Yeah, you can make it wide. Yeah. Tall, tall. Isn't that cute? Thanks. I like it. Love it. Okay. Let me show you how we're going to do the candles. So. Can we blow them out? We could. You guys. You recognize this? Look at that. Oh, I'm dizzy. Look at that. So I love this trick. I want to tell you this. It's a tip, really. What I did was I cut my candles based on the um, cuts that Shannon shared with me already. And then I use, this is that, um, look, I'm popping them up. This is that uh, repositionable, repositionable, is that the word? This is the alternate mat that things stick to, right? So what I love about it is, now I just popped them all up. Let me see. What I love is I can put this stuff on it and set it where I want it and do it that way. Isn't that cool? So if you have one of these mats, it's perfect. And what I really love about it is a lot of you guys tell me all the time that you use press and seal to do this, but here's what I love. I don't like to use press and seal because it. I feel like I'm using a lot of it. I just, that's just me. Do you. Okay. But what I love about this is when the sticky goes away, I just wash and air dry. It. I'm not wasting. Isn't this cool? I'm telling you these tools like this, you're constantly finding. I mean, we took this, put this on it to use it for stencils, and now we're using it to hold things in place. Um, I slung my... Oh, so you lost here it is. I slung a wick. I did not press these wicks down on here because the thing is this. I don't want the fibers to get into here. You know what I'm saying? I so I, I had them laying right here, and I glued them down. Now, what I did earlier... So these are all stuck. What I did earlier was just come through, and I went bloop, 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 bloop like this. Bloop, 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 like this. Bloop. Then I took the wick, which is um, twine. It's this one right here, the hemp cord. We use this yellow one. I took this guy and I just put him into the glue. Now, I went back and did something I really didn't have to do. But after I did that, I put another drop of glue on top. So mine are still kind of drying. I didn't have to do that. They'll be fine, though. We're just going to put them onto the card. So isn't that a cool tip? If you have one of these, think about this for holding your little pieces together. And like I said, whenever it loses its sticky, just rinse it off. I think that's pretty cool. Let it air dry. Don't use a paper towel on it. Don't use anything linty. Nothing linty. Okay. Linty. Promise me. Oh, let me tell you something else I did. I took the time because I wanted to be lazy. 
I let Shannon design it for me. So what I did was I copied her layout, okay, on here, but I put them upside down. So that way I could glue. So all I got to do is flip them and place them over here and they'll be right. Okay. I just kind of cheated a little bit. I didn't want to have to figure all that out on camera. So let's put our candles down. No, stop. I don't. Do, oh, I got to put my strip. You got to cover your Z. Sorry. I got to cover this up. Okay. Check this out. This little piece. Look how pretty this looks. It's so masculine. And that piece runs all the way across the page. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Love that. Paper pack. So pretty. It is pretty. Very masculine, too. I mean, it is made for a dude. It looks like a tie. It does. And Granddad would wear this kind of tie. Or he probably had a shirt like that in the 70s. Or now. I mean, he might still. i to be honest. Granddad's pretty stylish. There's one thing about my in-laws. They are stylish people. They like clothes. Granddad's always like, I like look, looking nice. Do y'all know many 89 year olds that would ask for a new pair of shoes for, for Christmas that are not, not because he needs like a special kind of shoe because he wants the newest thing he saw that he liked. He really is that way. He'll tell Vince, I saw some shoes I really liked. Or if Vince wears some shoes he likes, he'll want some of his. That's where he got it from. He gets his shoes. That's, where I get That's it from, exactly yes. where he gets it from. But Granddad right now will say, I saw these shoes I liked. Or, um, you you had on a pair of shoes I really liked. He will do so that. That TikTok of I saw these shoes in this color and I had to have them. And, and if they I have them in another color, color and then I had to have them. And another color and I had to have them. Yeah. He's very yeah. stylish. He wears jeans every day. He wears his little Levi's. And they are little. They Levi's, are little. He's a little so guy. Cute. But he wears his Levi's every day and he wears his little plaid shirts, his little belt. Today he had on his. He has. You're going to crack up when I tell you this and you will know this is the truth. You ready for this? He has one shoe, one style of shoe in at least five colors. It's this one particular shoe that he fell in love with and he has them in every color, every single color. Today, he had on his little tan shoes, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he has that. That's one exactly where I get it from. It is. It, it is. I love it. I have one pair of style tennis shoes I like and I have. Too many colors. And he wears every, he has every color because he loves it. It is so Not hilarious every to every color, me. but Babe. I do have. I so who's going to take colors. more shoes to creativation? Oh, definitely Vince. Definitely. Not me. Um, It was so funny the other day. Where were we, Vince, when that man said to you, you should have got some red shoes. He did. <laughs> I told him they didn't have any, but I got the closest they had. The shoes he had on were so bright red. I mean, they're like fire truck they're red. Really red, y'all. But they're cute. They look good. He said, you should have like got some red shoes. <laughs> oh, my papa oh, called them dungarees, dungarees. And my daddy called them dungarees. Your dad doesn't say dungarees. Your dad was not a country boy, was he? Vince. Are you asking me? Or? Yeah, you. Oh. Uh, my daddy was a very country boy growing up, but I don't know but if they called him dungarees. He wasn't as country. I don't know. He wasn't as country as my family. He didn't grow up on a farm. Your daddy read books. Daddy loved to read. That's <laughs> he for did. Sure. Or still loves to read. He just can't much He can't. Anymore. I've got him working a puzzle. And when I go over there, he'll give me the update. And it's so cute. Today, he said, I got the whole outer edge done. He said, I ain't going to tell you it's quick. He said, <laughs> and I get over there and work on it till, I, till I've had my feel. And Mima goes, don't take him long to have his feel. She did. And he, oh, said, that's so cute. he said, I get a couple pieces done at a time, which is good because I only bought him a 300 piece puzzle. So it's actually good that he's it's taking him some time. But he's so funny. When it's, it's funny. He's got his little card table set up next to him. Uh, I love we that. got there today. It's working Shannon. out good. We got there to chat today and they were sound asleep. And I felt bad. Like we wanted to go see him for his birthday, but they'd had a big day because his sister came up and took him to lunch oh. and um, got it made him a pie. I think she made him a pie. Yep, She Yummy. made one of the granny's chocolate pies. So when we got there, he was conked out and Meemaw was too. They'd had a big day and Vince went to shake his foot. I said, don't you wake that man up. I mean, he was sleeping, wasn't he? Um, he still woke up. He woke up because he, he heard us in the room. So he woke up, but it was cute. It was cute. Yeah, it is pretty cool how that um, striped candle that you placed mm -hmm. blends Disappears. into the bottom. Like the design is the same. It that is one so I did cool match up how it perfect. lined up. That one I did on, on screen. It looks really perfect. 
Don't you wish you could make a plaid cake? I mean, I'm sure there's I want a plaid cake. Can. That's what I want. I just want cake. We've been asking for cake for a while. And we have. No it. one comes through for us, Shannon. I'm going to eat cake this weekend. We're going to have to do it ourselves. I'm going to eat cake this weekend. Well, let's eat. Yeah, because it's your birthday. It's my birthday. And we, need to, go eat, we need to go eat a beignet. Yes, I was telling Owen, showed him pictures of beignets. So we're going to go have some beignets. Vinny wants a muffalata. I don't know a if muffalata. I say that right. I don't know if I say that right. I do Ooh. not want a muffalata. I started with the wrong end, but it's okay. You know, you do you, boo. I think you'll like this. Has your dad tried audiobooks? Yeah, that's what Tamitha was just asking me. I, I don't know that he would like audiobooks or not. His His hearing is so bad. If we could... If we could get the hearing aid thing to work, technology is has become an issue. And the problem is his hearing aids can do all the things, you know, hook to this and hook to his phone and all that. But we can't do it. No, we didn't get the ones. We, well, we decided to. not to do those because it, he couldn't work it. It wouldn't. So he could have you. It just, you know what? Here's what I like. I love when it's summer or spring, more spring than summer, because he can get outside and he likes to get in the yard. He loves a rain gauge. He loves to talk about the weather, doesn't That's he? It. Loves he a rain gauge. Love a rain gauge. Loves to piddle in the yard. Like, um, he likes a, a project. He likes something that takes a while. That's just how granddad is, isn't he? He just, he's Shannon. I, I like, I like, um, what? I said he's Shannon. He likes a job that takes a while. Yes, 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 I do. Um, I like, uh, what, what's a mufalada? And I love Patricia's spelling of mufalada. M O O F A L A T T A. That's how I would have probably spelled Mufalada. It's more like muffler. Mufalada. Is it a, I don't know how to say it. Mufalada. Mufalada? Mufalada. Is it, I think it's Mufalada. Might be Muff. I don't know. What is it? Explain. It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. It has, um, this is so great. Several it's different types of meat and cheese, and it has like a olive salad on it also. I just don't like olives. It's very good. I've tried them. If you don't have, you know, you don't mind spending lots of money, you can go online and order one from Central Grocery. Now, it will cost you a fortune to have them ship it to you, but okay. they will ship it to when you. you open it, yeah, and, you can uh, do that. Or even I've done it. put a long one. Behind that Z, I did it on um, one of these. Oh, age to cute. perfection. Oh, yeah. Muffaladas, beignets. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> See, I did like that one. A highlight of New Orleans. My mama used to say, It is a very good sandwich. Mama would sing, Happy to birthday. <laughs> happy to birthday. We had a happy um, birthday. I don't know why. Is that a birthday. thing? We had a. Um, I don't want to say refugee. But I like that. <laughs> but we had a young man that moved here after Hurricane hey, Katrina, and he opened a pizza shop, and he actually made a muffle out of pizza. And I have mercy. It was good. This may fit right there, Shannon, like where you're talking about. Yeah. That'll be cute. Oh, that is cute. Look at that. That is cute. Happy cake day. They're so cute. I like it a lot. Noah, Noah likes to um, kind of like operatically sing happy birthday i like that too but i gotta i gotta fix it don't stress froze you're froze again yeah that's a great picture too that you're froze on we should screenshot it for you for later how about not <laughs> y'all are all oh froze. yeah you gotta have some problems while too? you're there too oh, mine. gotta have some what while you're there too? i lost shannon what do you gotta have your face is better what are you gonna have? pralines Praline, depending know. on how you want to say it. I don't know. Y'all tell us how you say They're it. They're good, though. Who's from New Orleans? And the problem is, I say New Orleans, like New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. It's always been New Orleans. I've never said New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Shannon! <laughs> I'm really? still here. Laura you know says she was introduced, Shannon, to a peanut butter on a hamburger. You know, Hole in the wall burger joint on Bourbon Street. Well, I like trying crazy hamburgers. I mean, not crazy, but I, I did have one this last weekend um, with jalapeno pimento cheese, fried green tomatoes, and raspberry 
pepper jelly on it. Shut up. And it was so good. I'm trying to come back, y'all. I'm trying. She's trying to make a comeback. I'm trying to make a comeback. So I want to get, you know, that little. Just a country girl said it's Pralines. And she's in southern Louisiana. Well, then she knows. So, are pralines like. But some people say pralines. Like con pralines. Do they say it there, though? Do they say it there? I mean, is that the same type thing? I've always heard in Louisiana pr pralines, not pralines. I've heard pralines. So, but it's the same type thing we like the caramel pecan thing? Or what do you. It's just like. Caramel, caramel, pecan, pecan. A pecan. A pecan. They say pe some people say pecan. I don't say pecan. I do say pecan, but I don't reference pecan. a nut. <laughs> I'd say, what you peeking at? You peeking at that? Or, oh, he's peeking. But I don't say pecan. Pecan pie. No. Pecan. No, it was pecan. Pecan pie. I should, I know I should have put something behind this, but because of the green, I think I get away with it. So I don't think I need to. I think we can play with that. I did put something behind this because I knew I needed to. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Brenda said something about going to Emeralds. I don't know why. It's not on my radar. And y'all don't know. I used to be the a biggest. Huge Emerald fan. I didn't miss a bam. You know what I'm saying? I didn't miss a single bam. one. But I don't know why it's not on my radar. I don't know. I don't mind going. I'll go wherever. Dun, dun, dun. Hot pepper bacon jam on a burger. That sounds good. That oh. does sound good. Yeah. That sounds good. Here we go with food talk again. It's not our fault. It is our fault, isn't it? I said move I mean, a lot of first. Didn't you know, it was we, me. We, we haven't started it. It was me. It we was I. I think I'm going to pop this one up. We snack. I think Granddad would like seeing Dimension. Yeah. Where those little dudes go? Yeah, Jim, we don't watch them anymore either. I don't know if it's just because he started doing too many commercials or what. I don't think it's that. I think you just change. Like, I don't even watch Gordon Ramsay like I used to. You still, still watch do. his um. His I still newer watch that show. Next, next Level, level shift. shift. That's I like that. Yeah, we watched the first season. I haven't watched the second. We really liked it. Noah actually watched the first season. He thought it was really cool. So I do have this question from my New Orleans friends. Are the pralines in New Orleans actually different than what we get here? Because, you know, we get them here. I don't, I'm sure. I mean, what's different? Or do you know? Have you ever had one here? Would you ever come to Alabama and go, oh, bless their heart, they tried? That's a real question for me. Um, the other day, let me see if y'all would do this. We were at lunch. And then we saw this couple come in. And where we were at lunch was pretty far off the interstate. Like, to go to it, you had to get off the interstate and come to it, like, on purpose and this couple came in and they went straight to the counter and they bought one pecan log and put it in a bag and left that was it they came like on a mission for that pecan log so i said do they know something we don't know did y'all try we haven't tried log? it it's in the car still and yeah and i'm like did they say did, did they, would y'all think that too would you be like of all the things they sell because in this place, it was heat and pecan log. It's way. it's a pecan log that's what you say it's little, like, like this, like four inches. I mean, it's not like a massive pecan log. And listen, Heaton sells a lot of stuff, oh. candy and ice cream and everything. And they bought that pecan log. So I looked at them at the table. I said, "Do they know something we don't know?" So Vince bought a pecan log. Vince bought one. We hadn't tried it, but I was like, "We need oh, to yeah, find out to find because out. because that it's a trip to come in there." <laughs> That worked out really cool. Look, age to perfection and even more awesome. See that on the top before you even open it? Another year. That's cute. It worked out good. There's your dad's card. Do you like it? I like it. It's very good. And you have all this space because you write pretty little sayings. You I always like write stuff. Write Look at that. Notes. I think it's so cute. You could easily turn this into a cityscape kind of card. Wouldn't that be cute? Yes. He'll like this. He'll like the... It's very pretty. The way it opens like that. That's cool. Well, that was fun making granddad's card. Would y'all have done the same thing? Would y'all have bought the pecan log? If you knew what we knew. Like if it was just, if it was in a strip mall and people just kind of walked in, that'd be different. But the thing is, they had to get either off the interstate or drive to this place. There's nothing near it. It sits all by itself. And I was like, they know something we don't know. I mean, that's all they bought too. And that's it. I mean. One, I, they should have thought caramel ice cream. Is no one concerned about the fact that I was paying attention to what they did? 
I don't even know why I did, but I did. I'm putting this in just for you to have to do it back. Well, I didn't want you to leave with it and not have an envelope. Annie might be right. She said his wife was pregnant and had a craving. He, you absolutely might be right. I mean, they could be a local and just know they're really good. That's what I wondered. I'm like, there's got to be a reason. You don't walk. They did not go anywhere. But to the pecan log, pick it up, pay for it, put it in bag, walk out. I you mean, I mean we're talking about it's four inches long. We're and not talking like, about no big giant pecan log. My other theory is. Yeah, it's not like the world's biggest pecan no. log. My other theory is maybe they were getting something for someone who that's their favorite candy. You know, like they they were getting a birthday present for somebody or taking something <laughs> to somebody and they're like, this is what they love. And they went and got it. But talk about self-control. I'm with you because they had to pass the whole candy thing and the whole ice cream thing and everything. That's kind of cool, though. I thought it was neat. We used to have a Stuckey's, but it ain't there no more. We had a stuck. They had a, their pecan log. They were famous for it, weren't they? Oh no, our Stuckies had our Stuckies had a Dairy Queen, and that's what it was famous for to me. You're a people watcher. I'm a people watcher. We say pecan as in a can of something. Oh, I walked into that. I walked right into that. That was me. That was on me. Yeah, Lisa, that's what I thought. Maybe it was a gift. Like maybe they had an 89 year old granddad whose favorite thing was pecan logs, and they were getting it for him to take it to him. It could have been something like that. Could have been. If you were getting your dad's favorite candy, he's 89. What where what would you get? I know what you would want to get him, but I don't think he eats them like he used to. He doesn't eat them like he used to, but he don't ever find them. So what would you get him? Those little circus peanuts. Circus peanuts. He loved them. But they have them at Bucky's. Can I be honest? I like the texture of a circus peanut. You know, I, I used do. to love a circus peanut. You know I do. My um, daddy loved those and he them. loved those little um peanut bars. Oh yeah, the crunchy caramel on the like outside. The no, crunchy. No, no, no. The one that looks like the log in the on the plastic like was the wood the log, wood white the log, brown yeah. stripe. Yep. Yeah, those are good. He loved those too. It was like the inside of a butterfinger. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for our first show. Listen to me, just listen. If you like to see paper flip throughs, the after show is your show. Okay. Stay Did tuned. you see that stack of paper? Pretty good stack. He still likes a bit of honeys. It's a lot for us to show you. We've got some new products. We've got some really cool new products too. Um, and so you'll want to come for that. You'll want to go to the after show. Click on that. Click on that link right there and head over there. We're going to head over there as well. So if you've never been to our after show, that's a show where we just have a lot of fun. We hang out. I it. give you some updates, talk to you about some things that are going on. I'm going to show you some new product. We're going to smell some paper. We'll pet some paper. We'll flip through some paper. That's pretty much what we'll do for the, for the next 45 minutes to an hour. So head over to the link team that just shared for us and we will see you guys in the after show <laughs> momentarily. Shannon never got back in this one, but she'll be in the after show. We'll get her in. So we'll see you guys over there in just a few minutes. Bye now.